from Ondo State, but was staying on elections. Governor of Ogun State, Dakwa Abiodun, has commended the people of Ogun State for their peaceful conduct during the local government election, where they are expected, where they are expected to um, elect their leaders at different wards and local government areas. Senior reporter Kazim Olowe reports. The day started with late distribution of electoral materials and movement of officials to different locations. As at 7.30 a.m., the distribution continues despite that the exercise is expected to commence by 8 a.m. The situation remains the same in most of the areas monitored until around 11 a.m. when the exercise commenced in most parts of Abeokuta. Politicians expressed misreactions on the conduct of the exercise. Actually, we are not impressed. Because we have, uh, the electorate have been here since morning. They've just brought uh, 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 election material just now. There was no election whatsoever in the world of Ogun State. The good people of Ogun State were deliberately disenfranchised and prevented from using their votes to express their dissatisfaction with the failure of the governance in the state. This is quite impressive in terms of the very significant turnout and it's not just a segment of the society you can see you can see the elderly the young people male and female so it's been it's been quite commendable so far it's been a free and fair process why voter participation which is to me is different from the prior local government elections we've seen so it's encouraging it's very encouraging at Ikperu Remo in Ogun East Senatorial District, Governor Dakwa Biodon cast his ballot at Ward 3, polling Unit 2 in Tao Son in Kene local government area. He commended the residents and other stakeholders for their peaceful conduct. Um, in any election, you can't rule out maybe some logistics hiccups. But by and large, I'm informed that as of now, Electoral materials have reached all the nooks and cranny of Ogun State. I want to thank the good people of Ogun State who have come out in their numbers to uh, express themselves through uh, the ballot. The exercise was also peaceful in Ogun West Senatorial District despite the late distribution of electoral materials. Electorate were seen casting their ballots without hindrance. The senator representing Ogun West Senatorial District, Solomon Adiola, appreciates his people for participating actively in the exercise. Across the length and breadth of my senatorial district and by extension across the state. And as for the turnout, I can say from where I voted here, I am impressed with the level of uh, the turnout. 18, 19. Ballot sorting and vote counting underway in major areas across the state as the people of Ogun State have decided. The outcome of their decision concerning the chairmanship and councillorship in Ogun State will be made known by the Ogun State Independent Electoral Commission. Kazim Olowe, TVC News, Abe Okuta. Well, let's bring in a reporter from uh, Ogun State. He joins us via Zoom to give us update on that election there. Akazim Olowe, thank you for joining us. Now, what more can you tell us in terms of the progress made so far in, in the process? Well, thank you very much. Uh, currently, I'm, the, I'm at the Ogun State Independent uh, Electoral Commission's headquarters. Uh, coalition is uh, going on across uh, the, the state, the three uh, senatorial districts. And uh, Ogun State has a... Uh, 236 words. Uh, don't forget that all these words, election will be collated from the words level uh, to local government level and then to senatorial and then before they bring it uh, to this uh, place. Here we are actually expecting uh, them to start uh, bringing the results uh, from one local government to another. But it is expected that they would do this uh, uh, this night. Uh, but uh, we've been having feelers that uh, if they are unable to have all the results uh, in here, they may shift till, uh, till tomorrow morning. But talking about the exercise, uh, although there was uh, a bit of delay well, uh, earlier in the day, but uh, when the exercise started, everything uh, went on uh, peacefully. Uh, looking at the security arrangement, the security was uh, very, very, very good uh, because aside from that, uh, the polling uh, uh, units, we had presence of security personnel at different locations across the state, ensuring that uh, there, uh, I mean, there was no breakdown of law and order. And uh, the, the exercise uh, itself, uh, 
the, the way it went um, when the voting was on, uh, people were actually uh, relating like a uh, one big family. There was no form of harassment, attacks, or, uh, or ballot uh, snatching in areas uh, monitored. And uh, although politicians in the state uh, express different views, different opinions regarding uh, the exercise, however, it has been peaceful in Ogun State. And this is a local government election. How, um, talk to us about voter turnout and what you're hearing from residents in terms of how satisfied they are with the process. Well, talking about the, the, the turnout, I would say the turnout is not uh, that uh, encouraging as expected. But, uh, you know, uh, you've been hearing uh, prior to this time uh, that uh, people, people still uh, require, they still need a lot of uh, uh, sensitization talking about their participation in the in electoral process. And some people will even consider this uh, as a little election that they are not concerned forgetting that local government election has to do with them at the grassroots level. So I, th I still think that uh, there is a need for more uh, creation of more awareness and sensitization for our people across the country in, in terms of participation in local government election. But looking at uh, what has happened in Ogun State, delayed earlier in the day when the exercise started, it picked up and everything went on uh, uh, smoothly. Thank you so much, Kazim, for that um, update. I know that you, you've talked about collation. We'll let you get back to it and bring us update when you have them.